Hello, long time no see. I don't know if I take my glasses off or not. I feel like the reflection might be like a bit annoying and off putting. Anyway, I am back for this video. Don't know how many other videos I'll be making because I feel like I'll be quite busy. But you can probably tell by the title already what I'm going to be talking about. I am pregnant. So I kept it quite late before putting it on YouTube. But you know, I've told all my family, all my friends, um <coughs> I've got it on Facebook, Instagram, everywhere else apart from YouTube. So I thought I may as well put it on YouTube as well and just get it right out there. So I kind of kept it a bit quieter from the whole world just because um, obviously what I've been through in the past I didn't want to like jinx myself with stuff. Uh, <coughs> so yeah, I'll just start from the very beginning and tell you the whole story. So this is going to be a long one. Get yourself to be a cup of tea, drink, get cosy and listen to me tell you in cough and splutter. Whew, hopefully not too much but <clears throat> so I think it's it was about the 19th of June and um I was watching a psychic woman on Facebook called Christie's Readings. I think she's based in Airdrie maybe or Coke Bridge. Not entirely sure. Um but <coughs> She's, she does it on Facebook. So she had her Facebook video live and I said, could you pick a card for me? And she picked me a card because she like read through the messages and just randomly picked a card for me. The card she picked was the fertility card and I was just like, oh my God. She's like, you know what that means? Ding, ding. So um, <laughs> me being me was like, oh my God. So that was on the Sunday. I'm pretty sure that was the 18th of June. If not, whatever. Dates don't really matter. Um, on the Monday I was doing my period. And it didn't come. So I tested the Monday night. Um, and then my boyfriend came in. So I just like quickly flung it in the drawer. And I was like, whatever. But in the morning when I got up for work. <coughs> I had a quick look. And I was like, oh. It looked like a faint line. Sent it to my friend and I'm like, does this look like a positive? And she was like, can't really see it. Take another one and see if it works. So after work that day, eh, I went to my friend's house because she had a test in her house. Used the test and it was positive. So Christy from Christy's Dreams told me she told me she picked the card for me. I was meant to know. Um, super early apparently because I was like really excited and obviously because of what happened and the two previous miscarriages, um, I just wanted to know if everything was going to be okay and stuff. So I went and booked a private scan <coughs> just to see like if everything was fine. Went to the private scan and it turned out like the baby was, it wasn't a baby, it was just like a tiny wee sack, like that size. Couldn't see anything, so she was like, everything looks fine, but we can't tell if it's like a topic or not because it's so early. She measured it and I was like, just five weeks. So she says, come back in three weeks and we'll see what's happening. Um, but I had an appointment at the with the hospital on I think it was at six weeks, and I went there at six weeks in three days, and I've got a, and I, I've not even got the scan pictures beside me to show you, but um six weeks three days it was a tiny wee coffee bean, and it you could see the wee heartbeat just beating away, it was really tiny, but um <coughs> so she said that was all looking good. Then I went at nine weeks back to the hospital just for another reassurance scan um, and that looked really good as well. In fact, I've got a scan picture here but I can't remember what I was, I think that's the 12 week scan picture I've got here. Um, the nine week scan looked fine and then I went back to my 
private scan, which she was like, congrats, you've got a baby. <laughs> um, and then my 12 week scan, which I went to, baby was measuring fine. And this is one of the pictures. So cute. <coughs> so everything was good at 12 weeks. Um, I started being really sick as well. I got such bad sickness and just now I've still got sickness and I'm 29 weeks in one day just now and I've still got sickness. <laughs> it's not horrific, it's only like once or twice a day, which isn't too bad. And I totally jinxed myself because I went away for about three days and I was like, I think my sickness is away. Next morning, boom, I'm sick. Um, it's like normally in the morning time when I got up and during the night, which isn't the best, but it's fine, everything's good. <coughs> um, I've been for so many private scans and I just love them, I could keep going back but it's so expensive so I'm like trying to hold myself back. Um, what else? Yeah, I went for the 16 week scan for the private scan for a gender reveal, which ah, so exciting. Found out what I'm having. I might make another video on that if I don't spoil it in here and say she, he, blah, blah, blah. I'll just try and keep saying baby. <laughs> baby, baby, baby. Um, yeah, so got the gender reveal done. <coughs> which was um, me, obviously, because <laughs> he's inside me. Shit, I've just told you what he is. <laughs> Such an idiot. It's the boy! <laughs> um, yeah, it's a boy. So it was me, my mum, my dad, my cousin, my friend Nicola, Charlie, and his mum. No, there couldn't have been that many. There's only six allowed in. My cousin wasn't there. Was he there? He was there. Oh, it's because I'm counting myself. Shut up, Anne. Um, <coughs> so, yeah, it's the boy. Whoop, whoop. Then, what else has been occurring? I've literally got every disease. Not disease, what's it called? Every condition that could come with pregnancy. I've got um, carpal tunnel in my hands, which is so sore. It's not so much sore. Like, I started wearing splints, so that's gone away. Um, but it's like they're numb like see these fingers cannot feel them they're really numb um, so I've got that I've got gestational diabetes which I found out at 26 weeks then at 27 weeks I had to start taking insulin injections um, 28 weeks <coughs> last week I had to start taking blood clot prevention injections, which were fine until I started bruising myself with them. Don't know what's going on there. Um, so yeah, that's pretty annoying. And I'm on the like red path or something, like high risk pregnancy. So I just see my, I see my midwife at the hospital when I see my diabetic nurse and doctor. Um, so I don't go to like my clinic or anything anymore for my midwife. <coughs> um, what else have I got to tell you? I'm pretty much all organised. I've got a baby shower coming up on the 15th of December, which is this Saturday. This is Tuesday. Baby showers on Saturday. Um, yeah, I'm just so excited. Uh, I don't really know what else to say in this video. I thought it was going to be like pure dragged out and wrong, but I think I've made it pretty short, spoke fast, you know. Um, I'm trying to think I've got, I should really write stuff down, but you all know me, I don't do writing stuff down. <sighs> oh, I'm still an aspirin. I've been an aspirin. <coughs> since 12 weeks um, and obviously take that up until up until up until birth I think and then I can stop taking aspirin hopefully 
um, what else? I'll probably put this off and think of something else that I wanted to say in it, but for now I can't really think of anything. How annoying those wee brush wraps. Anyway, I hope you've all missed me. Um, oh, I've also had a 4D scan. I got that 24 weeks, which was a bit early, but I'm happy with the results of it. If you want to see my 4D scan, go and have a look on my Instagram or my Facebook. Mighty and main Facebook. But I'm going to go just now and I hope you've all enjoyed my wee pregnancy reveal video. Bye for now.